रोज एक सवाल सवाल सॉल्व करने के बाद वो बेल आइकन पे क्लिक कर देना रोज सवाल का नोटिफिकेशन तुम्हें मेल बॉक्स में आ जाएगा ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन हेलो एवरीवन सो हियर वी आर सॉल्विंग द सेट टू ऑफ द स्लॉट 1 ऑफ कैट डीआईएलआर 2020 सो लेट्स बिगिन सो हियर द क्वेश्चन सेज फोर इंस्टीट्यूट्स ए बी सी एंड डी हैड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स विद फोर वेंडर्स डब्ल्यू एक्स वाई एंड जेड ड्यूरिंग the 10 calendar years from 2010 to 2019 all right the contracts were either multi year contracts running for several consecutive years or single year contracts no institutes no institute had more than one contract with the same vendor okay that means if a has uh, multiple contracts it could be with wx wy wz or with xy xz or with yz but it cannot have two contracts from the same vendor that is it cannot have two contracts with w and w right now moving on however in a calendar year an institute may have had contracts with multiple vendors that means it can have a contract on in a single year with w as well as with x and same goes for other institutes as well also it says that and in and a vendor may have had contracts with multiple institutes same goes with the vendors as well it is known that over the decade the institute each got into two contracts with two of these vendors and each vendor got into two contracts with two of these institutes that means every institute have two contracts and every vendor also have two contracts right now these are the additional facts which is given so these are some of the additional facts which is given so before moving on to this uh, uh, additional facts let's create a table first so here we have our table here we have our table so we can see here that every every vendor had two contracts which is uh, shown here that w and w x and x y y and z z right and these are the years from 2010 till 2019 right now let's try to fill the table as many as we can as much as we can so it says the information one says vendor z had at least one contract in every year so that means z must have had a very long contract because it spans up to 10 years that is the only two possibilities for z is either 3 7 right one contract is 3 year long the other contract is 7 year long or one contract is 4 year long and the other contract is 7 year long right because there can be overlap there can be overlap so these are the only two possibilities for z to have a 10 year contract now moving to vendor x vendor x had one or more contracts in every year up to 2050 that means from 2010 to 2015 that is 6 years x have contracts in every year that again there are only two possibilities there must be either 3 3 in that case there will be no overlap and the other possibility is 3 4 in which there will be a one year overlap right in that case there will be a one year overlap there cannot be single year contracts in vendor z as well as in vendor x okay vendor y vendor y had contracts in 2010 and 2019 but as of now we don't know if these two are single year contracts or not okay moving on okay. vendor w had contracts only in 2012 so this is a very important this is a very simple information we can say that both the contracts that vendor w had are in 2012 that means these are one and one year contract these are one and one year contracts that means both the contracts of w are one year contracts right one year contracts and both of them are in year 2012 so these are the two contracts let's mark them with a the color let's say this is one contract and this is the another contract okay these are the two contracts that 
W is having. Now, it also says there were five contracts in 2012. So there were five contracts here. So there must be five. So till now we have two. There must be another three. Also, it says there were exactly four multi-year contracts. There were four multi-year contracts. B had a seven-year contract. D had a four-year contract. A and C have one three-year contracts, and the other four contracts were single-year contracts. Okay, so that means that means A A had a one-year contract, three-year contract. B had one-year contract and seven-year contract. C had one-year contract and three-year contract, and D had. A one-year contract and a four-year contract. Right? These are the distribution of the contracts for every institute. Right? Now, moving on to information number six. Institute C had one or more contracts in two thousand twelve. Institute C had one or more contracts in two thousand twelve, but did not have any contract in two thousand eleven. In two thousand eleven, there were no contracts from C. So that means here we cannot have any C, right? Here we cannot have any C. But in two thousand twelve, there can have one or more contracts. Okay. Let's move to option uh, information seven. Institute B and D had exactly one contract in two thousand and twelve. Okay. And Institute did D. Institute D did not have any contract in two thousand ten. So now, since we have already read all the seven informations, what are the things we have? So we know that Z has a seven-year contract, which is only B is having. That means Z must have had a contract with B, right? Z must have had a contract with B. So that so there could be two scenarios. There could be two scenarios. The first could be that the Contract of Z with B could start from two thousand ten, which will last up to two thousand sixteen. So this could be the first scenario, and the second scenario could be the Z's contract with B starts from two thousand thirteen, and it would end in two thousand nineteen. Right. So these are the two possibilities. So let's start the uh, let's start putting in all the information as per possibility one. And if it turns out to be wrong, we'll discard that possibility and we'll move to the other one. Okay. So assuming the first possibility that Z's contract with B starts from 2010 and ends in 2016, so this is B. So in that case, this contract would be B's contract, right? Let's say this is B, right? And this is a seven-year contract. Okay. This is a seven-year contract. Here, this contract could be a three-year contract or could be a four-year contract. We don't know for now. So this is either four or three, right? Similarly, the two similarly the two contracts of X, the two contracts of X are also multi-years. Either it is either three three or three four, right? It is either three three or three four, right? So it is three or Three or four, right? Both the contracts are multi-year contracts. That means the remaining two single-year contracts, the remaining two single-year contracts must be of Y, must be of Y. So these two are single-year contracts. So these two are single-year contracts. Also, also, if you see here in information three, it says vendor Y had contracts in two thousand ten and two thousand nineteen. So vendor Y had contracts in two thousand ten and two thousand nineteen. That means this is a single year contract, and this is also a single year contract, right? So till now, till now, we have seen that there is only three. There are only three contracts in two thousand twelve, and it has to have five, right? That means both these have to be filled. Both these have to be filled, right? 
Now let's look where we can put the contract of C, where we can put the multi-year contract of C, right? So C has a three-year contract, right? C has a three-year contract. So let's say if this is a three-year contract, which starts from 2010, 10, so it will last up to 2012, but it says that C did not have any contract in 2011. C did not have any contract in 2011, right? So this could not be C. We cannot place C here, right? So can we place C here? So if we place C here, then this will last only till 2014. This will last only till 2014. That means this cannot also be C. That both these options are gone for C. That means the only possibility for C is multi-year contract is this, right? Only this is possible, right? So now, so now we know where to put the multi-year contract for C. So this is C is multi-year contract, right? So this is C. So if this is C, that means this is seven, this must, this is three. So this must be four, right? And only D, only D have a four year contract. Only D have a four year contract. So it could be either 2012 to 2015, or it could be from 2010 to 2000. 13 right and it says that institute d did not have any contract in 2010 that means this is the contract of d 2012 till 2015 right so this is d i hope this is clear till now also it says that institute d did not have any contract in 2010 that means this could not this cannot be D. The other, the other contract for D, the other contract for D is this, right? This could be D. Why not these two? Why not these two? Because D had exactly one contract in 2012 and that is already here, right? That is already here. So now again, we can see that there are only four contracts. There are only four contracts in 2012. That means there must be a contract here. There must be a contract here, right? There must be a three year contract here and that should have been A's contract, right? That should have been for A. So we have filled the multi-year contracts of all the four institutes, right? So let's uh, fill the single year contracts. So now we know that this is D. Uh, what about B? Institute B had exactly one in 2012. So that means these two cannot be B. That means this must be B, right? That means this is C and this is A or vice versa. Anyone, any uh, contracts can be A and C, right? So we have uh, filled everything here. I hope uh, everything is clear till now. Let's match uh, the information once again. Windows Z had at least one contract in every year, which is true here. Every year we can see that Z has a contract. Vendor X had one or more contracts in every year up to 2015. So up to 2015, X has a contract, but no contract after that. Yeah, definitely. Vendor Y had contracts in 2010 and 2019. And vendor W had contracts only in 2012. There were exactly four multi-year contracts. So B has one and seven. C has one and three. D had one and four. And A had one and three. That is also true. Institute C had one or more contracts in 2012, but did not have any contract in 2011. So this statement is also true one contract in 2012 and no contracts in 2011 for C and Institute B and D had exactly one contract in 2012 Institute B and D had exactly one contract in 2012 yes which is which can be seen here 
and institute D did not have any contract in 2008. So all the all the information fits this table, and this uh, possibility looks uh, correct to me. So with this, we can uh, move to the questions now. So let's read question number one. So let's read question number one. Question number one says, in which of the following years were there two or more contracts? So in which of the following years were there two or more contracts? 2017, 18, 16 and 15. So we can see that year 2015 had multiple contracts. That is option D is the correct answer. Moving on to the next question now. So question two says, which of the following is true? Which of the following is true? B had a contract with Y in 2019. B had a contract with Y in 2019. This is not true. D had a contract with X in 2011. That is also not true. B had a contract with Z in 2017. B had a contract with Z in 2017. That is also not true. That means option D must be true. D had a contract with Y in 2019. That is true. So option B, option D is the correct answer. Let's move to question number three. So the question three says, in how many years, question three says, in how many years during this period, was there only one contract? So here there were multiple contracts. Here also there were two contracts. Here there are five contracts, two contracts. So in 2016, there was only one contract. So there was only one contract here. Again in 2017, only one contract. In 2018, again one contract. In 2019, two contracts. So that means uh, three years. So the answer is three. Okay, let's move to the question four now all right question four question four says what best can be concluded about the number of contracts in 2010 so in 2010 we have one two and three we have three contracts so that means exactly three right exactly three so option A is the correct answer. Let's uh, look at question number five now. Question five says, which institutes had multiple contracts during the same year? Which institutes had multiple contracts during the same year? B had B had multiple contracts, A had multiple contracts, C did not have multiple contracts in the same year, also D did not have, that means A and B, A and B only, so that is option D. I hope this question is clear, let's move to the sixth question. All right. So question six says, which institutes and vendor had more than one contracts in any year? So we have already seen that A had uh, more than one contract in a single year. So that there is definitely A, right? And there is definitely B. What about the vendors? W, W we can say that we had uh, two contracts in a single year. That means W is also there. What about X? X also has two contracts in a single year. That means X. Uh, y does not have and Z does not have any overlap. That means A, B, W, X. A, B, W, X, that is option C is correct. So with this, we have come to the end of this set. I hope all the questions are clear to everyone. So in the next video, we'll be solving the set three of this paper. Thank you.